Well guys, welcome back. Today we are at my favorite brown trout lake and the ice just came off yesterday, I heard. Got my boat unloaded. I'm gonna hit the water. Hopefully next time I turn this on, I will be fighting a big brown trout. Stay tuned. Not good news. We are gonna show you what's going on in my favorite brown trout lake. That is not a good sight to see. Right when the ice comes off, two brown trout floating side by side. That one looks like it's maybe 28. Looks like it's a male maybe. And this one here, big female. And uh, I'll show you just up ahead here, there's another one. Right over there. So that's just one little area. I've already seen three more. So, yeah. I'm gonna continue fishing to see if I can get any fish to follow or chase, but. That's the cycle of trout lakes, you guys, especially when they're uh, prone to winter kill. So if we're not going to get any footage of fighting fish, let's go get some footage of some floating fish. Here's another one. Oh, and there's another one past that one. And there's two more past that one. Oh, and there's another one. So yeah, this lake is done. That's a big female. Another 30, 30 incher, and another one, big male, and I've seen another one here, right there. So that's one, two, three, four, five. I bet you if I go to the shoreline. Gonna see some more. Oh, that's a big one. Another 30 incher. And I see two more over there. So what does a guy do? Stay and fish all day? Try and get one to bite if there is any left? We'll give it a good go today. See what happens. Can't be total winter kill, you'd think, but what I just seen there, I've never seen before at this lake. But trout lakes have their cycles and that's what happens. Oh, here's another one. Just ran that one over. There it is. Goodbye. But you know what, guys? I'm gonna keep fishing. See what else? Uh, see if I can. See if I can get one to bite. I guess. Guys, these dead browns keep coming. I think I'm at 20. There's one right there in the water on the ground right beside it there's one floating in the rocks that's a shame
now. One there. One there. One there. And one up there. Couple of eagles. Probably eating those dead browns. Well guys, that is it. No bites, no fish. I'll give this lake a couple years and the fish they stock in here this year, hopefully next year they'll be about 18 inches. Hopefully there are some big ones left and uh, we will see. The lake's about 28 feet deep at the deepest and it's just super shallow, like 80% of the lake is shallow. And what I think happens is these brown trout get into the shallows and that's where the oxygen is uh, gone in the shallow water. So if any of the uh, bigger trout are in the deeper water, hopefully they survive, but it's gonna make for a tough year this year. Guys, I'll give you a little bit of history on this lake. Uh, I started fishing it 11 years ago and I think it was 13 years ago, two years before I started fishing it, there was a supposed winter kill. And when I started fishing it, I was getting like 22s, 24s, smaller fish, and lots of fish actually. And as the years went on and they stocked the lake, you know, you see bigger fish coming around. And I think the biggest fish I've personally seen in my 11 years of fishing this lake is a 34 and a half inch fish. And that was last year um, for my, uh, my woman, Crystal, she caught a... A giant and registered it for the Alberta Fish and Game and she's actually going there today to receive her award as I am getting skunked out here but uh, you know a uh, trout lake like this it'll rebound I think they'll probably be stocking it this year um, and I bet you by next year we're going to be seeing 18s and uh, hopefully within two three four years you know we'll start seeing the bigger fish come around and you know that's uh what happens with fisheries they uh, have their highs and lows and right now i feel like this lake's on its low and hopefully it'll come back soon thanks for watching you guys uh no fish were caught in this video but just goes to show you what happens in these uh, stock trout lakes, uh, actually in any lake, can have uh, potential winter kill. And uh, hopefully in my next video I'll be slamming some fish for you guys. Thanks for watching.